Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our longer readings for Virgo in Virgo season. Happy birthday, my Virgos. Hope all is wonderful for you. Now, you know that when I'm doing the longer readings, which I look as more the chapters of our lives, and the shorter readings are more the paragraphs or pages, um, I use four decks. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main reading. I then ask for clarification from John Holland, Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, then Osha Zen Tarot to give us a little words of advice, and then finish up again with Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Got cards falling already. Take what you like, leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. Whatever the message is that needs to come through, it does. Now, um, I have three cards. None of them are face down. All of them are face up, but the second and third are reversed. Reversed have stronger energy. That's how I read reversed cards. Um, the longer, the prelude, you know, the, the, the overview of Virgo season will be on another video. I just want to get right into your reading. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, interesting, 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 because I can see them. Now, we come up with our first card, which is a nine. Nines have some endings to them. Um, the Hermit. This is Archangel Raziel. The hermit is one of those energies that's either saying that you're going to come out of your cave or you're going to stay there for a little bit longer. Now, this is one of the things my Virgos, my Virgos, I'm always telling you that you have a lot of spirituality. You all, you know, you need to, you know, you need to, you know, okay, I don't know why I'm feeling like a rubber band that's being stretched almost to its limitations. Well, you know, so just take that as it is. And you need to, you know, make sure that you are doing some self-care and that you are, you know, connecting with your higher power with this higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is for you. I'm feeling like, you know, you know, all of this energy has just been so, um, make, you know, so sixes and sevens for you. You know, there, it, there's a big part of you that is very introvert. But at the same time, there is that part, especially as we get closer to your birthday, whatever date that is, that does like that socialization. So there may be some, some of this time you may not necessarily have the socialization that you like to almost recuperate, to almost refresh, to all, you know, to get to that, um, that, you know, I, you know, like a, a, a spring coming, a spring coming out of the ground type of energy. But you can pick that up with a lot of, you know, with meditation, connecting, um, you know, and I also feel you reading, reading, you know, um, books, literature, words that lift up spirit also, okay? So spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. Now, there is, especially around that, full moon, there is going to be a time, be very, very aware that that full moon will be when you probably go into a place that others don't necessarily follow you in, okay? I mean, that is going to be a really spiritual time for you, okay? Now, next card is, again, this one's reversed, but this one is the Ten of Fire, Tens are trans, so you have nines that have some sort of little ending energies here. Tens are transitional endings. So there feels like there's going to be a spiritual awakening, a spiritual metamorphosis for you, but at the same time, it's not necessarily easy, okay? It's not necessarily easy. Fire energy is our Sagittarius, it's Aries, remember Aries and that Mars thing going on, and it's also Leo, which the season is just, we're just leaving Leo, okay? Now there is also that interesting thing about Leo and Venus that's going to be in September, but, um, so, but the thing again is this is not necessarily easy time for you. Fire energy is burning, passionate, determined, um, you know, but at the same, but at the same time it's like a little bit too much, it, you know, 
again, you haven't, you haven't had that refreshment that you've needed, okay, to bring back some equilibrium into your, into your life, okay? So just, just, um, you know, if there is a way for you to be around other people and have that safely, you know, please do that. I feel like you do need that socialization, my Virgo. Um, you know, but this is also, again, there, there's some, there's a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of drama also with this energy here. Too much work, accept help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related, health concerns. Your last card with the this deck, and this is reversed also, is the five of air. Now, air energy is our Libra. It's our Aquarius Gemini energy. It's, you know, it's our thought process. It's thinking. It's strategic thinking. But it's those worries that come to the back of our minds that we just want to let them go, but they just won't leave us, okay? Now, fives have a struggle to it. Fives have a change to it. But the change can be positive, negative, neutral. It really doesn't matter. It all is effective. So it does affect the way we think. It does affect the way we're going to process things. And I don't know why that's going to be. Well, I do know why, because my Virgos, you like orderly process. But with the struggles that go here, there might, you know, it doesn't feel like, you know, if, or it feels like things might be out of order for you. And you're kind of like, no, when this happens, this happens. And when this happens, this happens. And whatever this is that's going on, probably at your work, I tend to go more towards work relationships, but it could be work, job, career, intimate, personal, interpersonal. It could be family or home also. But it's like, again, instead of it doing being one, two, three, four, five, it's like one, eight, nine, five, four, three, two, and it, it's just out of sorts, out of order, and it makes you want to, you know, just want to, let go. Breathe deeply, my Virgos. Remember, you are of the earth. Get outside. Let that, you know, let that sunshine, if you are in a place that you can do that, you know, get outside, take some baths. No, don't take, well, you, hey, if you can go swimming, go swimming. But take some baths. You, you know, you know, get back, connect back with your nature. Okay? Okay. Now, let's go to John Holland's Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. Now, I'm kind of feeling that that is more the over, the overview. I, I'm kind of feeling that, you know, your, ver your, your birthday month brings a little bit of tension and a little bit of um, just, you know, and, may, and, and it, should, it probably should because it's like, you know, in some ways it's almost like, you know, hey, this isn't the way it was supposed to be, okay? One card has come out. So let's go on, and we're going to cut. Okay, here we go. Okay, first card face up, the other two face down. Let's see what we have. Okay, so while this tension's going on, and all, you know, and this this kind of you know, I don't know, mental, spiritual, physical type of stressors going on, um, you know, and again, you know, you need to kind of separate yourself, possibly, you know, you know, kind of separate. Things will be moving again. Things will be moving. The thing that now, now John Holland, Psychic Tarot and Oracle is saying victory and success. You will be able to blow your own your own horn. So I guess the thing too is, is if you know that this is the energy around you, the one, you will be able to work through it. You will be able to recognize it and say, oh, no, 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 no. I understand that this is what's going to happen. I am now, you know, and again, it's with that meditation, that connection, you know, it's going to be with that spiritual awareness, you get through this victory and success. Okay, let's go on, next card. Okay, deception and envy. Now, if you go back to the, um, to my overview, your season is all, is going to be all about truth, truth and honesty. Now, the thing about that, though, is that not everybody will be truthful and honest. And it doesn't mean that you have to be truth. Well, let's put it this way. It doesn't mean that you have to lay out all of your truths for everybody to see, okay? You know, many times that's what, you know, we tend to like to do. You know, it's like, well, no, here, this is all it is. You know, there's very, there are people out there that, that will take your truth 
and they will run with it. So, you know, there's a lot of discernment with this. There's a lot of discernment that you're going to be needing to utilize, especially with that, you know, that first level of the readings. Okay, and seven too, seven, remember, seven has this, you know, six has a celebratory type of overview. Seven has this, you do your best, you work hard, but yet there's something that's not quite under your control. Okay, your last card is base chakra. Okay, interesting one. This is also known as your root chakra. This is, you know, this is um, your sense of security, your sense of, um, you know, how you, you know, you feel about yourself, your belonging. This is, you know, kind of, you know, this is what makes you, you. A lot of this, now, if we were going into more, this would be more how you grew up, you know, going back into your childhood and your fears and your, you know, the things that made you feel secure. But this then, let's take this fast forward. This is again about a sense of security. A sense, you know, what is your fears, but what is also those good things? You know, this is sensing, you know, this is really, you're really going to have a very, you know, probably because of those that Pisces uh, full moon, you're going to have a lot of um, digging deep type of energy. Okay. Now, Osha Zentero, let's see what we have. Any words of advice? for my Virgos. It's their birthday season. Now, the thing I, I feel with this, though, my um, my Virgos, is that, you know, while there might be this tension, or, you know, or whatever this is, is it really tension? Is it, you know, um, but while, while this different energy is going on around you, you actually, again, there's, there's going to be a lot of you seeing the truth, seeing the truth, whatever that truth is, okay? Okay, let's go on. And one, two, and three. Okay, first card. Here we are. Okay. Existence. Existence. Being in the moment. Be in the moment. Stop thinking too far ahead. Stop thinking too far behind. Be in the moment. I love this. I love, you know, this is a, you know, whoever she is, she's, she feels confident sitting on her lily pad or whatever that is, watching the stars, you know, the, the um, meteorite, the comet, the star fall, you know, whatever that is, you know, we always think making a wish. Be in the moment, Virgos, okay? Your moment is now. That's what you need to concentrate on. Okay, your next card up. Again, okay. Guidance. Again, this is all about your spiritual awakening more so. I know, you, you go through this several times a year. This is about you connecting. Your, again, your supernatural, your creator, your higher power, your angel, your divine will take you through your steps on your, on your journey, okay? Will take you in the morning, you know, give it to your higher power and say, hey, you know, let's let's do this. Let's rock and, you know, and get through, okay? But this is about divine guidance. Lean on it. Use it. Okay. Last card up. Exhaustion. Exhaustion. Make sure that you take care of yourself. Remember, we had that ten of fire where I said there's going to be a lot going on, a lot of energy going on. Make sure that you get your rest. Make sure that you eat right. Make sure that you get your water, okay? Watch out for exhaustion because it's like, it's. I feel like, you know, like the energies just want to be, you know, like, like you feel like the energy is just being sucked out sometime, okay? So just make sure that you are doing what you can do to take care of yourself. Now, let's go on. I really do think that you should, because a lot of what I'm saying to you is reflective in that Virgo overview. So take a look at that. So let's go on with the Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards and see what we have here. Okay, one, yeah, okay, that'll be good. Here we are. One, two, and three. All of them are face down. Now, I can tell you that the middle one is reversed. 
the um, Ridley Valentine, the backings, I can tell what's reversed and not. The other ones, I can't. Okay, here we go. First card up. The Nine of Gabriel. So again, we have that nine, that ending, but this is also fire energy. And again, like I said, this is Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. We have that Aries and Leo thing going on in your sign. Uh, but this is also standing firm. This is not taking any guff, okay? Whatever guff is, don't take any guff, okay, my Virgos? You know what you're doing, you know, even if all the, if even if all the things are, um, you know, are moving too fast around you, I'm going back to this card where you yourself, it's almost like you yourself are standing in the eye of the hurricane. So the hurricane might be moving all around you, but you yourself are in a good place, a calm place to just be, okay? But don't take any guff. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. This one's reversed. Here we go. The six of Gabriel. I told you six have a celebratory energy to it. And, you know, with this, this is riding in, you know, triumphantly. This is, you know, um, people seeing you for who and what you are in the most positive way. Okay, so, you know, again, is this at work? It probably is more so at work, or this could be at any of the others. But, you know, it, this is not birthday celebration. It could be, but I really don't feel like it is. So there is something, there is something, Virgo, that you do, you know, you do. with In spite of all of the little obstacles that are annoying, you, you focus day at a day, day by day, one thing at a time, it works for you, it's celebratory. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, award, scholarships, or promotion. And your last card is the Empress. I love the Empress. So, so even though there's things that just may not necessarily be what you like per se, we started with an Archangel Energy and we're ending with an Archangel Energy card. This is Archangel Gabriel. Three has a divine type of energy to it also. The, you know, the Empress is, okay, well, this one, you could be hearing news, positive news, but the Empress is also about bounty, is also about giving, and it's not you giving, it's you being given to, okay? So all the stuff, all the little stuff that you've been going through the month, it all winds up where it works for you and it works for your benefit. And, you know, it, it does, you know, you internally, internally you might feel like you're just like, oh my gosh, Deb, no, 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 no. Externally, though, it's the universe wanting to gift you, meaning G-I-F-T, okay? Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. So my Virgos, you've got lots of energy going on this month. Um, a lot of things dig deep. A lot of um, self, you know, retrospective type of energy here too. But it works for you. Um, you know, again, you know, be in the moment. Divine energy, you know, divine guidance. You are, you know, try victory and success. Really, really good stuff happening. You know, you got to climb those mountains, though. Sometimes there's barriers that, you know, you face, but you get over them, and then the path gets smoother, okay? Okay. So happy birthday again, my Virgos. Please remember, I think it's down there, subscribe, like, and share. But as always, my Virgos, know that you are loved, stay safe, and be blessed. Bye-bye.